Hi. We've had a lot of uh, Joseph Ribkoff um, delivered in the last uh, 10 days or so. So I thought it'd be nice to show you some um, of the beautiful collection that we have from them. We have bought it um, in a, a more casual way than often we do. Um, and I think there are some beautiful pieces, the sort of pieces that you can wear for, um, for going out for dinner, to friends' houses, restaurants. Um, you could wear for a wedding if you dress them up. Um, and I think it all goes along with this sort of the vibe that we have at the moment in recent years of um, making your clothes last and your clothes need to do different things. You might buy it for an occasion, but you need to be thinking, how am I going to you know, buy clever and be able to wear that later on for other things as well? So um, I'm going to divide it up into two parts, um, a navy base to start with. So everything I'm going to show you on this video um, is navy based. So I'll start with my dress, which I'm really absolutely loving. There's a lot of ruffles and a lot of frills, um, sort of ties on sleeve and girly pretty details really at the moment. Um, this one is very plain, but I think with the um, tears on it, it, it just makes it into the most easy dress. Um, I have to say that I feel very ungroomed. I think we all are desperate for hair cut and colour. Um, painted nails, toenails, you know, everything. We just need to sort of upgrade ourselves, ready to face um, society again, don't we? It won't be long now. So uh, plain navy, keyhole neck. It's a set in sleeve, three quarter sleeve with a little cuff on the end. Um, and um, quite low, I might put a little white vest um, underneath this one. Um, the part where it fits is across your chest and under your arms. So I'm actually wearing a 10. Um, I could probably get away with a 12, but I feel quite comfortable on my shoulders because I'm quite narrow shouldered in this size of 10. And you can see it's just loose, doesn't fit, fit me anywhere after the bust, just hangs. So really lovely um, dress. Um, and I just thought I'd put a bit of colour in by putting some red shoes or some sort of a coloured accessory I think is always nice, especially in the summer, with um, a plain coloured dark dress. This one here I also love. This is very um, pretty woman, Julia Roberts, when she was on the polo field. Um, polka dots. Um, it's a sleeveless dress. It's a collarless dress. There are buttons concealed other than the top one all the way down so it's a complete button through it's then got a loose-ish waist here it is a stitched waist and they've given us um, a fabric belt to go over you could replace that with a nice leather belt a red one would look really nice um, and then i think yeah it's got side pockets there and then just a nice easy skirt to it if that were mine, I'd probably put a little white linen or denim jacket over the top. Um, and it's the, well, both of these dresses are the sort of things you could also wear with um, a white training shoe um, or a navy and white training shoe or something a bit funky, a coloured training shoe, something like that. So anything that um, seems a bit dressy, you can always pull it down with a pair of trainers um, and look quite trendy as well. Um, the third dress in this particular group with the polka dots is in the peony print. So the peony print, as you can see, it's got lots of shades of pinks and corally reds to it, and then little bits of green. Um, in the fabric, they put a tiny polka dot, that's all part of the fabric, and then to edge it, they've used a different polka dot, a larger one, um, for the collar um, and yeah, the, um, the um, sleeve um, binding there. So it, um, I'll show you the back first. It's got a slit at the back and then it's got a concealed zip. It's wasted on an elastic. Um, and then at the front, I've undone this, I need to just do it up slightly for you. Um, it's got a little tie just to draw the waist in there. So you can sort of see it's nice and easy v-neck there, sleeveless but bra friendly and then it's got a nice full skirt to it there. So really nice easy dress and another one which would be great with a little white jacket or if you could pick up one of the colours, a little shrug cardigan would look very nice with that. Um, so also in this print 
is this little two-piece. Um, it's a, a very basic camisole underneath there in the usual Joseph Ribkoff um, fabric, just a round neck and a lowish back. And then this little hoodie, which has got a zip front, it's wasted, and then it, depending on how much you pull the waist in, it's got gives you this little peplum. It's a long sleeve, but it has a tab on it. Hopefully you can see that there with a little button so that you can make it into a three quarter half sleeve. And then at the back, you can see the little hood. You wouldn't know the hood was there really. It just gives you that sort of sportswear look to it. So that looks very nice with just a pair of white or maybe navy uh, trousers. This is um, a cropped pair from Ribkoff, a fabric that they often do in the summer. It almost feels a bit of a taffeta, slight rustle, it's not too noisy, but a slight rustle to it sort of fabric. It's just pull on, there's no waistband. It's three quarter length, so ankle length on me, five foot four and a half. And then down the sides, there's a braiding, which has got little sort of circles in it. If I come closer and hopefully you can see that. So that one also comes in white. And then classic Joseph Ribkoff shape. Um, we've got a long camisole and then over the top, the overlay piece, which is actually all stitched into it, the, the two are inseparable, they come together, um, is a nice, wide, easy, um, in the um, Georgette sort of net fabric um, overlay piece. It's a three quarter sleeve and they've used the bigger dot, polka dot, to um, give a little tie cuff there. Um, I've shown you the width. You can see the um, um, scoop neckline and the fact that it's edged in the spot and it's shorter at the front, a bit longer at the back. It's really flattering, always flattering that top. And it goes very well with the, one of the uh, classic um, Ribkoff trousers. That's just the usual caress fabric, we call this, which is the same as the camisole there. Um, and that's just a pull-on trouser. It's got a stitched seam at the front um, and little false pocket details. The other classic trouser, which comes in navy, black, and then this nice vanilla colour, um, again, is a pull-on. Um, and this particular one has got some eyelets at the side and the little ties. So you can see that it looks really quite nice with the white there. And if I go back to this one, that also looks quite nice with white. That one would look really nice with white jeans as well, because it's a bit more casual. Um, if you like a plainer top and you're not too keen on prints, then this plain is just lovely. It's the same as the last one that I showed you. So the long navy camisole in the crest fabric, and then it's got the net overlay just in the plain navy, exactly the same shape. I think it's got the long sleeve as opposed to the short. It's a really good shape, this one. Very, always very, very flattering. So that one is in navy. And then we've got, um, I ought to try and put this jacket on for you because it's so nice. Let's see, it won't look the best over this dress, but hopefully it'll give you um, an idea. So it's, it's the modern take on the classic blazer. It's such a nice shape. Um, it's, there's no fastening. It's got the nice long uh, revere there, long sleeve, and then it's just straight. But it's a great, it's a really good jacket to have in your wardrobe to wear with everything from jeans upwards. Um, this is in the caress fabric. Um, and then they do do a camisole, which you could put underneath. Um, that's got the scoop, sort of very soft scoop neck at the front and a bit of a V-neck going on at the back. So it's quite V-ish, soft V, I would say. So that goes underneath that very nicely. You could go all navy and have a navy suit. You could break it up with something similar like that little camisole in the off-white. And you could go back to 
the sort of white trouser look there as well, very nautical. So really nice jacket just to have in your wardrobe. Um, also in navy, we have a sort of, um, I think I'd call this an etch, etch print. Um, it's a navy background with white and they're just sort of little leaves and flowers. So it's a very simple this top, simple is often the best. It's got a fitted um, sleeve, so it's set in. It's a three quarter sleeve and it's got a little cuff at the bottom. And then it's collarless, but it's got a tie at the top there. So I hope you can see that. Um, and there's a bit of shaping on the hemline. So it's obviously meant to be worn outside. You can wear that with navy, you can also wear it with the white. Um, this little trouser, there's a lot of trousers this time, this just gives you a little bit of uh, glamour, this one. This is in that rustly fabric again. It's similar to the last one. Um, it's pull on, it's three quarters, but the back has just got a little Diamante detail there. So it's four bands. Um, just go over a horseshoe cut out there with just a little bit of Diamante. So with something like the, um, let me put it that way, you just see a little bit of um, detail at the back there. Um, and then also in this nice etch print is a fab dress, really lovely, um, quite a sort of 50s sort of dress. A uh, scoop neckline, it's got a concealed zip down the back. It's sleeveless, but bra friendly. And then it's cut in panels, and we call that cut, uh, fit and flare. So it fits and then it flares. And it's always really, really flattering. It's quite a nice length, this one. Sometimes I find they're a bit short, but I really quite like this length. And then the hemline has got insets of the navy mesh so that you would just see your legs through that. Um, to wear over the top, if you want to be formal, they do a great little cover jacket. There's several to choose from. So there's a shorter one than this. I particularly like this one. It's collarless and it just comes short at the front. If I put it over the dress, you'll see. And then it's longer at the back with a little vent. Um, three quarter sleeves and the sleeves have got a really pretty detail of covered buttons there in uh, little satin buttons. So it's a really good jacket to go over lots of things, just to give you a little bit of formality if you want formality, but otherwise um, a white jacket, um, denim jacket, that's along with a pair of white trailing shoes, a, a white denim jacket is a great thing to have in the summer. That concludes my little navy group. There are one or two other pieces. It's all on the website and there's a description that tells you about um, the fabrics. Um, they're all man-made fabrics. Uh, and the beauty of that is that Joseph Rubikoff doesn't create. So it's one of those things that you can put it on and you can trust it to still look nice um, at the end of the day. Uh, and it's all hand wash cold and they do ask you to wash each item separately. Um, yeah, that's it. Shelley and I continue to be in the shop Monday to Friday, 10 till uh, 5. Um, we're posting out, obviously, you can buy online, you can ring us and buy, you can ring us or email us with any questions and we'll respond to you. And um, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.